E-cigarettes have become so popular. You can find stores like this one here on Bay Street all over the city that specialize in vaporizers and e-juice. They're also uh, readily available and on display at convenience stores and gas stations. Now, vaping nicotine has become such an alarming trend. New research shows that today's youth are about to become the most nicotine-dependent generation in decades. To be honest, I wasn't as hooked on cigarettes as I was on the Jewel. Really? Yeah. You call it the Jewel, is yeah, that what it is? Yeah, that's what the, oh, well, it's pretty, it's the most popular um, e-cigarette. 20-year-old Mustafa has been vaping for a couple of years now and is part of a growing fad that new research is calling an urgent threat to public health. A study out of the University of Calgary suggests that for the first time in 30 years, the youth smoking rate has increased in Canada with e-cigarettes being the suspected cause. Could e-cigarettes be a gateway to smoking the traditional cigarettes? Well, some of the research is certainly pointing in that direction. Uh, the other concern is that even for folks who are using e-cigarettes to quit smoking, ultimately the aim is that we want you to quit using e-cigarettes as well. If unchecked by strict regulations, the report says decades of effort to protect youth from tobacco and nicotine will be wiped out. Just yesterday, the FDA in the U.S. tightened restrictions on fruity flavors to try and curb teens from vaping. Here in Canada, there are calls to take that even further further. The study says governments should also mandate plain packaging for vaping devices, ban their use wherever tobacco use is banned, and strictly limit the accessibility of sales to youth, placing e-cigarettes behind the counter. We have made great strides in tobacco, um, in part because there have been very strong policies put in place, and we know that those strong policies really protect young people from starting to smoke. So we don't want to see ourselves go backwards. Right now, you do have to be 19 or older to buy e-cigarettes and the flavored nicotine juice, but there are few restrictions on advertising and smoking bans are way stricter than bans on vaping. Ryerson University took its own initiative to prohibit e-cigarettes on campus. I don't even know how to describe it really. You just find yourself picking up a cigarette or the e-cigarette and just smoking. Like you need that nicotine fix? Especially, like, most, like mostly in the morning. When you, right when you wake up, sometimes you just pick it up and just start smoking. Now, we did reach out to the Ministry of Health to ask, to ask if stricter regulations on e-cigarettes are a consideration. As of this point right now, we have not received a response.